CMD Boxing Report, Ronell Hig reporting here. And I am back at it for the boxing fanatics. All right. So, a boy here, Felix Verdejo. Okay, he's back in the news again. Now, oh, man, it really ain't looking all that great, you know, for the young slugger, the young boxer out of Puerto Rico. Now, he was supposed to be fighting in March, all right? That's next month. However, the fight has been pushed back. Now, his, you know, trainer and manager, uh, Marquez, had explained that, you know, that's not too safe for him. Now, they were saying that, you know, the fight could be, he could end up fighting in April, okay? That's what he said. But the fight being pushed back that far is not safe. You know, he, he don't think that's safe for, you know, his fighter. But he has to take whatever they could give him, all right? Right now, they really don't know what they're doing with Felix Verdejo. I mean, it's good to hear news about Felix Verdejo for a guy whose career is going nowhere, okay? It's like ever since his uh his accident he had back here on that moped, it's just like they just, damn, shut him down. They just put my boy on the back, you know, uh, burner or something, you know? It looks like that's what Bob Aaron getting him. I mean, he's getting the guy in the ring and everything every once in a while. But it's not like he's concentrating on it. Like, we don't hear too much about Felix Verdejo. I mean, I have to search for news every like every week about Felix Verdejo, see what is going on. Now, they saying that, you know, the second choice here, since his fight got pushed back, that he could be fighting on the undercard of the Amir Khan versus Terrence Crawford fight on the pay-per-view. That's that pay-per-view event. And I think that's pretty good. Okay, I, I, I like that. I like that uh, option right there. All right. And then, you know, they were saying they don't know about that. They said they heard that the fight could be in Puerto Rico, his next fight. So, like I said, they really don't know what the hell they're doing here. Like I said, it, it, it's time for Felix Verdejo to make a move. Okay, it's time for his manager, Marquez, you know, sit down, talk with, you know, Frank. And everything's. I mean, they they sound like they're comfortable with top rank, but if you look at the big picture, top rank is not really interested in uh, Felix Verdejo like that anymore. You know, they're more interested in Vasil Lomachenko, um, who oh, Tio uh, Fimo Lopez, Terrence Crawford, and you know now that uh, Richard Kume got a title, you know, it's like Bob Arum is concentrating more on that. He's not even thinking about uh, Felix Verdejo, so. You know, the way I see it as a fan, okay, and a, a guy for a guy who I wants to see grow and be the next big thing out of Puerto Rico, all right, for Felix Verdejo, I think he should just move on, okay? Uh, maybe go ahead with the PBC where he'll get a whole lot of exposure. You know, the PBC, they got fights on every week now, okay? I mean, they, they got dates with Fox and, you know, other and Showtime, okay? The new, uh, the next generation and whatnot. So Felix Verdejo will get a lot of exposure. Or he can go with Eddie Hearn, who is one hell of a, uh, you know, promoter. I mean, look what the hell he's doing with Anthony Joshua, okay? I mean, look, he brought Anthony Joshua all the way from the UK, a guy who sells tickets, like I don't know what over there in the UK, all right? Now he's bringing him over here to the States, Okay, where he is selling out. Okay, I mean, like the Anthony Joshua fight uh, versus Big Baby Miller is doing way better than the Joshua. I mean, than the uh, Wilder versus Tyson Fury fight. I mean, they were struggling, you know, to sell tickets with that bad boy there. So that goes to show, man. You know, Eddie Hearn is, you know, hey, he's the man. Okay, I don't care what every, what everybody else say about him. Eddie Hearn knows his stuff, and some of these American promoters need to start taking notes with this guy okay i mean yo huh. i have to say the man is saving boxing okay so anyways man you know i they, they don't even know who his next opponent going to be okay someone said having face uh uh teofimo lopez all right <laughs> which I, I think that'll be hot you know now with bob arum you know looking at teofimo lopez i know Tio Fimo Lopez is Puerto Rican descent, okay? I mean, he was born here in New York. He was up here from the United States, I believe, okay? He's not from PR, okay? But they're looking for the next big thing out of Puerto Rico. No, you know, not not the next, you know, big fighter or Puerto Rican fighter. So they want the next big thing. We want the next big thing, okay? That's what the boxing fans want, all right? We know we like our boxers from all over, 
All right. We want to see the next big thing from PR. OK. And that supposed to be Felix Verdejo. But at, like I said, they just put him on a back burner after his accident and especially after his loss. So y'all let me know, man. We know What do y'all think about this? Should he stay with top rank or should he just pack him up and move on? So anyways, that's my take on this CMD boxing report. And I'll catch you on the next one.